your stool can paint a picture that tells you a lot about your overall health. For instance, it can tell you everything from whether you're eating enough fiber and drinking enough water to whether you have a serious disease that you may need to be addressed by a doctor. This is a topic that you might not want to talk about, but trust me, it's super important. Today I'm going to share the warning signs that you should not ignore. But before I do, I want you to think of someone who could be helped by this video and share it with them. You never know, it might just change their life. Sign number one, it floats. You may not have paid much attention before, but healthy stool sinks. If you notice that your stool is floating, it might be a good idea to talk to your doctor. While it's normal for stool to float from time to time, if this is a regular occurrence for you, it could mean that your body isn't digesting food properly, a condition known as malabsorption. If your floating stools are accompanied by weight loss or appear greasy, this can further point to malabsorption. Malabsorption might indicate a serious underlying condition like celiac disease, an autoimmune disease in which your body's small intestine is damaged when you eat gluten, or could suggest cystic fibrosis or even pancreatic cancer. In fact, according to the American Cancer Society, floating stools is one of the early warning signs of pancreatic cancer. Sign number two, there's mucus. You might think of mucus as only being something you cough up when you're sick, but it can appear at the other end of your digestive tract as well. That's right, mucus can also appear in your stool. If you only see mucus occasionally, it's usually not a cause for concern. However, if mucus appears frequently in your stool, especially if it's bloody mucus, and this is accompanied by abdominal pain, then this is something to be taken seriously. If you've experienced this, it could indicate an autoimmune disorder like Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis, both of which cause inflammation and swelling in your intestines, or even colon cancer, which is estimated to affect 4.1% of the US population, or over 1 million people each year. Sign number three, it's the wrong texture. Stool should follow the rule of Goldilocks and the three bears. It shouldn't be too hard, or too soft, it should fall right in the middle. Stools that are dry and hard come about when your colon absorbs too much water from them. This can potentially indicate that you're not exercising enough, that you're not drinking enough water, or that you don't have enough fiber in your diet. However, this could also indicate the presence of certain medical conditions like diabetes, hypothyroidism, or even certain types of cancer. The general rule of thumb is, if you've been having hard stools for more than a week, it's a good idea to seek out advice from your doctor. Now, on the opposite end of the spectrum are stools that are too soft. In other words, diarrhea. This arises from the opposite problem seen with hard stools, in that soft stools are formed when your body does not absorb enough water. Occasional diarrhea isn't normally an issue, and more often than not just indicates that you ate something that you probably shouldn't have. But if you're experiencing regular diarrhea, this could be something more serious. It could indicate, for instance, a serious infection caused by a parasite, a food intolerance, or a digestive problem like celiac disease, Crohn's disease, irritable bowel syndrome, ulcerative colitis, or even a bacterial overgrowth in your intestine known as small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. Sign number four, it's a strange shape. You may not have heard of this rule before, but if not, let me share it. Pencil-thin stools warrant a trip to your doctor. That's because extremely thin or narrow stools can form as a result of colon cancer. The mechanism is still debated, but some doctors believe that this is because if you have a growth in your colon due to cancer, this creates an obstruction, squeezing your stool into a narrow, pencil-thin shape before it leaves the body. Pencil-thin stools can also arise due to other, less serious conditions, but it's a good idea to talk to your doctor either way. Sign number five, it's a strange colour. Did you know that healthy stool can be different shades of brown and even green? That being said, while the colour of your stool can vary, there are a few colours that you should look out for. The first is a bright red, dark red or black colour. Perhaps unsurprisingly, all three can indicate the presence of blood but the colour signifies blood arising from different areas of your body. In the case of bright red stool, 
This typically means that there's some kind of bleeding in your lower intestine or your rectum. This could indicate something like a hemorrhoid, but could also indicate something more serious. Dark red stool, on the other hand, means that you might have bleeding in your small intestine or in your colon. And finally, black stool, often referred to as tarry stool, can signify that you have bleeding in your stomach or the beginning of your small intestine. Now, another warning sign is when your stool appears a pale colour. When this happens, it can suggest a potential problem with your biliary system, which includes your gallbladder, liver and pancreas. In serious cases, this could imply cirrhosis of the liver or cancer involving the biliary system. Sign number six, there's undigested food. I know, this one might seem a little gross, but it's just as important to talk about. Some undigested food in your stool is completely normal. For instance, foods high in fibre are more difficult to digest, or undigested food may appear if you're eating too fast and not properly chewing. However, this could indicate something more worrisome if it's accompanied by other symptoms like diarrhoea and weight loss. In this case, food may be passing through your digestive system too quickly, as can be the case with Crohn's disease, and thus your body isn't able to properly digest it. It could also be a sign of celiac disease or pancreatic insufficiency, a serious issue that results from a lack of enzymes being excreted from your pancreas, resulting in an inability to properly break down food. If you enjoyed this, please consider subscribing as we continue to make content to help you live longer, happier, healthier lives.